In this video, I'm going to compare the Intel's earlier Haswell i7-4510U with the Broadwell Core M-5Y71 processor. Uh, quite frankly, these two processors, they fall into different category and the reason for this has to do why they fall in the different categories has to do with the TDP ratings, the thermal dissipation power. Uh, as you all of you should be knowing that that's the cooling arrangement that you need to take care of. And the i7-4510U is a 15 watt processor and the Core M-5Y71 is 4.5 watt processor. Essentially in this one you don't need a significant amount of cooling arrangement except a small heat sink. While at 15 watt you need to take care of, you don't need a big fan or something like that but you certainly would need a decent amount of heat sink and potentially a very small fan. So that being said and that's one reason these two processors are different and Core M-5Y71 is made for mobility, higher battery life, uh, thin laptops or notebooks and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at nonetheless what's the performance difference between these two. We have a base clock frequency at 2 gigahertz versus 1.2 gigahertz and a turbo clock frequency at 3.21 gigahertz versus 2.9 gigahertz. Uh, you can see that the base clock is kept slow and that's an intelligent design that normally the processor will be running very cool at low clock frequency but as soon as you have a sudden requirement the processor clock frequency jumps up to almost as high as the Haswell's 15 watt processor. So this design um, ensures that your peak performance does not uh, suffer much and that's why Intel has priced it decently at $281 pretty much not uh, very low but uh, not dirt cheap although uh, significantly lower than the Core i7-4510U. So both of them are core uh, dual core and one of the things that makes the design of such low power for, uh, processor possible is this 14 nanometer technology. We have the same number of uh, cache memory at 4 MB and looking at the uh, memory type it's both of them are DDR3 and then we will need to move to and the newer Skylake to move to DDR4 which will provide even more power savings. The HD graphics improves to improves from 4400 to 5300. So let's take a look at the benchmark score. We have 33C939 for i7-4510U and 2121 for Core M-5Y71. It definitely is lower than that, but it's not some. It's, it's only like 50 percent, or even smaller, something like a 30 percent difference between these two processors. You can see, and uh, m 515 y71 is quite frankly, it, it it's very decent in terms of power seek, uh, power savings, and and a longer battery life. Thanks for taking a look.